Hello, welcome. Uh, in this video, we will show you how to operate this IR machine. So before anything, these are the cards. But before doing anything, we have to warm up the machine. So here is the power on button. So this is need to be on. And here you can see this uh, light is on. So we will take at least 15, 20 minutes to warm up and then we will start it. So whenever you uh, are ready to run your IR after your machine has warmed up for about 15 minutes, you'll need to log into this computer. Um, normally this should be logged in for you, but if it's ever not and you need to run your IR, just the username and password, organic-lab, and then the password is organic. So we'll launch the Omnic software here. You'll get a bunch of pop-up menus. So the first thing you'll need to do is uh, collect a spectrum of your solvent. Um, the reason for that is your IR machine will detect pretty much everything that's in your uh, sample. So these are the sample cards. This film here is polyethylene plastic. Um, so your software will detect the polyethylene plastic. It'll also detect the air and the water in the air. Um, so for that reason, we have a kind of background spectrum that the software will automatically delete. So, that so to edit the axes right here, you'll go up to this top bar and you'll click view, uh, and then you'll go to display limits. So this is the x-axis and the y-axis. Um, we'll put it to start at, um, let's put it at negative 500 and then end at about 1000. Let's see if that looks a little bit better. Okay, so we're starting to look a little bit better. We'll probably cut it now at like maybe 250. Uh, basically, you just want to zoom in until you actually see a good spectra. And then we don't even need to go down to negative 500. We can go down to negative 250. Cool. So this is looking a lot better. We do have uh, some peaks right here. This is actually probably from your polyethylene. If you notice up here, right here around 2900 or so. Um, this is probably just the uh, software not completely editing out this peak right here. Um, so this is probably what this is from. But the characteristic uh, peak that we're seeing here um, aside from, you know, this fingerprint region, uh, we'll have this guy right here, right at, you know, 1700. So this is let it, letting us know we have some sort of carbonyl compound. So to print your spectrum, you're just gonna go to file and then print. It should be already connected to this printer right here. And then you'll just click print. 